Controlling the Spread of Disease by casescience.com People get diseases. They always have and they always will. It is really important to control the spread of disease. The first method we're going to talk about is vaccination, where you vaccinate entire populations to make the whole population immune to a disease. You can protect large populations by using vaccines, and we call this herd immunity. This is an example of herd immunity. All the people who have been coloured in green have been vaccinated against the disease. The people that are coloured in red have not been vaccinated against the disease. So if a large population is vaccinated, the disease is less likely to spread. So in this diagram here, you can see that a far smaller percentage of the population have been vaccinated. So if the one person in the above diagram gets the disease, they cannot spread it to other people within the population because they've all been vaccinated. So you've controlled the spread of the disease. In comparison to the bottom diagram, if one person gets it, that means that they can spread it to a far larger number of people who have not been vaccinated. So it's very important to vaccinate as many people as possible within a population aiming for 100% because the top is herd immunity and the bottom is not herd immunity because too many people have not been vaccinated. The next way of controlling the spread of disease is by controlling the vectors. Remember, a vector is anything that carries the disease. So if you want to prevent the spread of malaria, it's a really good idea to kill the mosquitoes or stop them from breeding. That way, if you control the mosquitoes, you're controlling the vector, preventing the spread of the disease. If you've got water that is contaminated with pathogens, best way to control the spread of the water-based pathogens is by sterilizing the water. For example, using chlorine to sterilize the water and kill the pathogens. That way people will not be able to contract the disease by that pathogen. Another way of controlling the spread of disease is by isolation. The isolation of the hosts who are carrying the disease. So the people in red have the disease and we have isolated them away from the healthy population without the disease. So you isolate the people to stop the spread of the pathogen to healthy people. So if you don't isolate all the people with the disease, this one person can then spread that disease to healthy people. Good hygiene is the easiest way to prevent the spread of pathogens. So it's really important to wash your hands with soap. The surface of your hands will have pathogens on them, so your hands are vectors. So if you clean that vector with soap or hand sanitizer, you will kill the pathogens on your hand. If you have a communicable disease, it is really important to cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze. So use a tissue to cover your hands. You then bin that tissue and hopefully that will kill the pathogens. Remember, catch it, bin it, kill it.